All right, this is third grade, module seven, lesson six. And in this lesson, students are gonna be, really they're gonna be practicing vocabulary. And they're gonna be doing it by drawing polygons with given attributes. And the, the point is not how well can they draw these figures. The point of this lesson is really, can they practice the geometry vocabulary words that they've been learning? So let's get started. So we're going to be using a little logic here as well while we're practicing our vocabulary words. So I see triangle, I see right angles, so there's a lot of vocabulary. So parents and teachers, this might be a good opportunity to set up that word wall so that as your students are using or working through this module, they can constantly be referring to those words posted on the wall, perhaps with pictures uh, associated with those words. So draw a triangle. So we know it's got to have three sides that has no right angles. Now we know that a right angle is, of course, an angle that is 90 degrees right there, 90 degrees, kind of like the corner of a piece of paper or the corner of a door frame. So that is 90 degrees. So it's got to be a, a triangle with no right angles. So one way to do that is, there we go. And at least I'm trying to make it not be uh, right angles. That's sort of close to a right angle, but its I don't think so. I think that's okay. I mean, is that the only triangle? No way. Students could have done something like this. There's a triangle. Now, I'm not using a straight edge because I'm on a computer, so I can't do that with a, like a ruler. But we expect our students to be using a ruler to practice drawing those straight edges. More vocabulary. I love it. Draw a quadrilateral, so it's got to have four sides that has at least two right angles. All right, so if it's got to have four sides and it needs to have two right angles, so I'm, I'm going to start by drawing one side, and there are my two right angles. So there's my two right angles. And then, well, I kind of actually did it. There, there's one figure. It could look like that. That's a trapezoid. Uh, but I could have also done, let's see, I could have done, said, here's my two right angles, and then there, and make it actually four right angles. So here's my two right angles that they asked for, but then it says at least two right angles. So in this case down here, I actually made four right angles, didn't I? while in this case, it looks like I only created two right angles. Both of them work. So draw a quadrilateral with two equal sides, so you gotta know these words, and then label the two equal side lengths of your shapes. Okay, so draw a quadrilateral with two equal sides. Okay, so, well, one way to do it is we could draw a kite, and this is unusual, so I'm going to start off with an unusual answer. So there we go, and there's a kite, and it's got two equal sides right here, so there's this one's equal to that one, and then this one is equal to this one. Now, I didn't have to do it that way. I could have started with a kite, what looks like a kite, but then make this one go like this and this one go like this. So really, it's only got two equal sides, these two. And then this guy is not equal to this guy. So that's why I'm doing dashes like this. One dash, one dash means they're equal to each other. Two dashes and three dashes means they are not the same length. All right. So there's a couple of figures that we could have drawn. There's others with two equal sides. Now, it doesn't say exactly two equal sides. So if we wanted to, we could have drawn a square, couldn't we have? Because that's got four equal sides. Parents and teachers, let your students have fun with the figures they draw as long as they are correctly uh, justifying their answer and using the proper vocabulary. So draw a hexagon, and what is a hex? Well, that X, in goes to me, goes with six. 
So hex and six. And so that's my, my way of remembering what a hexagon is. And it's got to have at least two equal sides. So your hexagon, your six-sided shape, has to have two equal sides. What does that look like? Oh, you could have all six equal sides. It could look kind of like this, in which case all of them are equal. But if we want to do maybe exactly two equal sides, well, boy, what would that look like? Well, I don't know. I might do like a 90 degree angle. So there's my two equal sides. And then it doesn't say it has to be like a normal looking one. So I might do like, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, look at that. <laughs> there's a six sided shape. And I can see that this side and this side are equal. And there might be other sides, but it says for us to label the two sides that are equal. So there's a couple of options for you right here. A regular hexagon and a kind of an unusual hexagon. So a pentagon, that's a five-sided figure with at least two equal sides. So I'm going to allow you parents and teachers and students to work on this problem by yourself. The key thing is, what is a pentagon? It's a five-sided figure. And the last question. Christina describes her shape. She says it has three equal sides that are each four centimeters in length. It has no right angles. Do your best to draw Christina's shape. So it has three equal sides that are each four, si uh, four centimeters in length. It has no right angles. Do your best to draw her shape. Now it doesn't say exactly how many, she says it has three equal sides that are each four centimeters in length. So if it says, if, if we're gonna read this and say it only has, it has exactly three equal sides, well, then it might look like a, an equilateral triangle where this is supposed to be four centimeters, this is supposed to be four centimeters, and this is supposed to be four centimeters. So that's one way to think of it. Um, now, but it doesn't say it has exactly three sides. It just says that it has three equal sides. So maybe we could do like, Here's a side, here's a side, and here's a side, and each one of those are four centimeters. And then this one is some unknown length, I don't care what it is, in which case I kind of drew what looks like a trapezoid, doesn't it? It, looked like, it looks like I drew a trapezoid. So we have a variety of answers depending on how our students interpret this. Parents and teachers, it is not important for students to draw uh, for everybody to agree on what the figure looks like, as long as they can explain and justify their reasoning. Um, it doesn't say exactly three, so that's why a trapezoid is fine. If it says it has three sides, well, that's perfectly fine for why a student could want to draw a triangle as well. And that wraps up kind of a fun and creative one, Grade 3, Module 7, Lesson 6. Students are using their creativity to draw those polygons with some specified attributes.